after the last war in Gaza 2014, when we woke up after the, after the war, we found too many of the crises. Everything around us is destroyed totally, even the hubs. We decided to, to rebuild our hubs, to rebuild our dream. So we established uh, sketch engineering as a place to employ ourselves. And the second uh, goal, which is the main goal for us, is uh, to find solutions, engineering solutions to the uh, crisis and the problems that are living around us. work in the community and as we are working as a social working in our community we find that there is too many people didn't have any source of lightning we know and we are living the electricity crisis but we didn't know that there is there is too many people, poor people living in the marginalized area and camps and they didn't have uh, any source of electricity to light up their homes so we make a proposal and send it uh, to uh, international organization, a local association, and make a cooperation with them. And we successfully lit up more than 1,000 house. I joined the mechatronics engineer, the faculty of mechatronics engineer. I was the only, the only woman or lady in this faculty. But now um, there is uh, uh, more than 20 ladies in that faculty. Always in Gaza, there is some. They need uh, want to start something and to start the change. And they uh, then too many people will follow this change. challenge that we face in sketch engineering that we couldn't uh, we couldn't import anything we dream or we design to, to use it for, of our product because of the blockade on the crossing and uh, because there is always uh, mixing between the political and economic situation in Gaza if the if the Israeli side want to punish uh, the politics they using the economic and the traders and the normal people or the civil people like us in Gaza. When you have a startup in Gaza or anywhere, I feel my startup is like baby. So if I left my baby here and immigrated to outside, who would care of my baby? So I'm not thinking of this.